back to because of the uh, essential essentially ample supply here uh, there's a little bit there's a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to negotiation uh, how about which vehicles there's you know some ample supply of uh, Nick and Jen uh, so for example North American vehicles for GM Stellantis U European ca uh, car brands Mercedes BMW Audi but for example if you want some of the Asian brands like Toyota Honda Hyundai uh, there's th with those Asian brands the supply is not as as ample so you're not going to get a big deal there Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, are you considering purchasing a new car and want to make the best financial decision in today's auto market? I'm going to try and give some car advice. Yes, I'm from the after sales side, but given my experience, I still have people who come to me from time to time asking me which car to purchase. And from a parts and service standpoint, I am familiar with which car that you can purchase and will keep you away from your mechanic or your garage. Nevertheless, I did my own research and might be able to offer some insight on today's car market. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I will give you the positives and the drawback to purchasing a new car. Let's get into this feature from CP24 here in Canada. Oats to the price of a new car, which <laughs> is dropping and may continue to fall for the next year. Mm -hmm. This sounds like it could be good news. Mm -hmm. CTV's Christina Tenalia is following this story and joins us live this morning with more on this. Okay, Christina, what is behind this drop in car prices? We haven't seen it on the home side, so I guess <laughs> some relief when it comes to your vehicles is good news. Yes, good morning, guys. Well, you know, anyone who is trying to get a new vehicle during the pandemic knows exactly the, the nightmare I'm about to describe. You just couldn't get one. I, I tried to lease a new vehicle during the pandemic. The lease on my old vehicle was up, and the salesman at the dealership I've worked with for years said, I have nothing for you, even if even if I was flexible with, you know, the color of the vehicle, uh, per se, something that, you know, sometimes there's a bit of wiggle room. My sister went through the same thing, trying to get a, a Kia hatchback. She bought it uh, in cash, like she, she paid outright, and had to wait almost a year. Uh, so that was the pandemic, but now the scenario has changed. So for the first time in years, car shoppers are having an easier time finding a deal. This is as, as the auto industry bounces back from the supply chain woes. So what does this mean? Um, it means incentives. It means that you have some negotiating power. So on new cars, dealerships can offer internal financing for manufacturers. They can actually control the rates independently. Uh, the bank rates. So instead of offering, let's say, a rebate on a vehicle, a dealer can lower interest rates, which makes deals better for the consumer. And I remember again back during the pandemic, trying to lease a vehicle. I remember the salesman saying, "Look, we don't we don't negotiate really anymore. That that's not something that's that's really happening in in the the car sales industry." Well, that's back. Well, the thing is, like I tell people every now and then, they car market is a cycle they had the handle during the pandemic because when everything was on shutdown and people wanted cars price gouging was actually taking place at some particular dealerships can't name them here but we know who they are but if you're shopping around now because things have bounced back and things have bounced back in such a way that the cars are not moving as fast as they should so now you have an oversupply of cars sitting on dealer lots so if you're in the market to buy a car, no is the is a good time, but it's also not a good time. And I'm going to explain is that first you have to understand the car loan interest rates that are going now. And the interest rate on your car loan significantly impacts the total cost of your vehicle. So while it's ideal to secure the lowest rate possible right now, not everyone will qualify for the highly advertised competitive rates and i say highly advertised but they're not so competitive so here's what you need to know the average car loan rate in canada right now is 7.79 percent according to statistics canada however this can vary widely based on whether the car is new or used your credit score and whether the loan is fixed or variable so from December 2019 to December 2023, the average rate jumped from 4.94% to 8.21%, and it was influenced by the so-called economic changes. 
I call them government policies to curb the excess money that was printed during the pandemic. And also the Bank of Canada's adjustment to the prime rate. Now, fortunately, rates are showing signs of dropping in 2024. However, these best rates are generally available only to those with excellent credit scores right now. So you have to know when to buy and what to consider. And given that rates have shown a tendency to stabilize and potentially decrease in 2024, it might be advantageous to wait for further rate reductions. Keep an eye on the Bank of Canada's announcement can provide a good indication of the right time to buy. Car dealerships often offer promotions at the end of the year or fiscal quarter. So timing your purchase during these periods can secure additional savings. Let's continue. Back to because of the uh, essential, essentially ample supply here, uh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to negotiation. Uh, how about which vehicles there's, you know, some ample supply of uh, Nick and Jen. Uh, so, for example, North American vehicles, Ford, GM, Stellantis, U European ca uh, car brands, Mercedes, BMW, Audi. But for example, if you want some of the Asian brands like Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, uh, there's th with those Asian brands, the supply is not as as ample. So you're not going to get a big deal there. Um, in saying that though, I want to point out that the experts we've chatted with say, while the situation is improving, it's not quite there yet. So if you don't need a car, a new car right now, maybe wait six months to a year. But certainly, Jen, you know, as you noted, uh, there has been a, a challenge with not only housing affordability, but in terms of people being able to, you know, pay their mortgages yeah. with interest mm -hmm. rate hikes uh, over the last, you know, few years with it, the interest rate only dropping by 0.25% last month. We have another rate announcement this month. And I know finger, people are feeling fingers crossed. We're hoping for another uh, drop in the interest rate. Uh, in saying that, though, this is perhaps maybe a, a sign relief for consumers who've been waiting for a new vehicle and maybe now can get a deal on one. Let's hope. Okay. Yeah. Christina Tenalia joining us live this morning. Christina, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Christina. Well, she didn't go into the specifics like what I am doing right now with you. So the positives are that there are competitive rates for new cars. For buyers with good credit, rates can be as low as 0 to 7.5% for new cars. And with rates showing signs of decrease, the overall cost of auto loan may become more favorable. The drawback is that there are higher rates for used cars. Interest rates for used, car, used cars are typically higher currently between 8% and 10%. And then those with poor credit can face significantly higher rates, ranging from 14% to 29.99%, which can drastically increase the total cost of the loan. You have to keep an eye on market trends, improve your credit score, and compare rates from multiple lenders to secure the best deal. But I also say, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. She did, she did mention that if you can also wait until the end of the year because everything else matters. People have high loans, high mortgages. They have to worry about putting food off the table. So if your old car serves you well, why change it? But most importantly, use disposable income to acquire that new car. Repo rates are up because people continue to keep making the same mistake. Don't fall into that trap. And why some deals may seem to be good right now, they will fall as long as we hold out. We are the ones who are determining that market. Why go out and purchase a truck for more than $80,000? It's basically not worth it. The rates will continue to fall as long as we hold out and the dealerships and especially the manufacturers will no, have no choice but to lower the prices. As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please smash that like button on your way out. It'll only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.